Hello, and welcome to my next countdown. And today, we will cover Brawl remixes. Same rule as the melee list, remixes only, and one per franchise. Also, this list is my opinion, and you will disagree with this because, trust me, this list was so hard to make because Brawl has so many remixes, and my favorite selection of remixes in the series. With all that said, three, two, one, go! This song's name is misleading to say the least because while the original version is good for emotion, it is not suited for fighting, though. This is the same game to bring in environmental noises, but anyways, they remixed a song called MSG4 Theme of Love, and they remixed it into a song that you would find in Pirates of the Caribbean. I love the adventurous, piratey, manly feeling the song brings, and it's by far my main Shadow Moses Island song. Battle Dialga Palkia most certainly fits on the Spear Pillar stage. I already love the original version of this theme, being my favorite legendary theme in the series besides the Oxus theme. But Brawl said, let's make it even better. This song is honestly a contender for my favorite Pokemon theme in Smash Bros. Which is weird because the Pokemon remixes are all over the place in terms of quality. They're either pretty good or in this case, stellar. I am going to be brutally honest, I was never really that big of a fan of the original Superstar version of Men Knight's Revenge theme, but this remix is freaking incredible. It obviously fits the halberd stage and the edgy puffball himself. This song sums up a hyper fast paced non-stop showdown. Also take notes, the song is called Meta Knight's Revenge, and it was introduced in Brawl, and so was Meta Knight, and we all know how he turned it out in that game. Guess you could say, Brawl was Meta Knight Revenge. Mila's Divine Protection is an amazing remix of a pretty good map theme from a Fire Emblem game no one cared about till its remake. My greatest memory of the song just has to be the wilderness level and subspace emissary with Marv, Ike, and Meta Knight. I love how the song keeps a smooth rhythm and now I kind of want to adventure in the wilderness with some of my friends while the song is blasting. Great song, just not good enough for the top six.
Rest in peace, Isaac. But anyways, the Golden Sun Battle themes still really hold up despite the GBA limitations. But this remix is amazing to say the least. I love this song in a super serious match. I love the build up and it keeps the momentum all the way through. I do miss being able to play it on Norfair, though. But at least I can play it on Find Me. And it's pretty funny being able to play this song on Hand and Bow of all things now. I'll wait for the moment Isaac joins an official Smash game with this song for the trailer. This song is incredible, but the competition is so amazing that it unfortunately couldn't make the top five. Unfounded Revenge was quite a well-crafted song in Mario 3, but Brawl took the opportunity to remix the song and made it amazing. Arguably my favorite Mario theme in Smash Bros, which trust me is no easy feat whatsoever. I love how the song really suits New Pork City despite that stage's quality. But I love how this remix sums up that you're in a tough fight, but you won't give up no matter the situation. What else can I say but Reggie? Give us Mother 3! I have always mentioned that I love Wolf before, but I also love his theme. And I was really hoping during the Smash 4 DLC cycle, this song would play during the Wolf Return. That didn't happen in that game, but back to the song. The Star Wolf 64 theme is quite stellar, but the Brawl remix made it truly stellar. I love the opening notes, the build up transition, and then the main part that sounds like you're truly in a full on battle. Especially because that's where the Star Fox stages take place in. This song really. Hits at home. Boss Battle 2 is an amazing song. Of all the 20-ish versions of the Brawl theme, I found this version my favorite. And let's be honest, this song is pretty much Taboo's theme. And we also see this song with whatever the heck he is. This song starts frighteningly slow, but then transitions to frighteningly all over the place. This is one of my main picks for Final Destination and Battlefield. Also, on another note, I wouldn't mind a scale down Taboo as a DLC character with a subspace stage. But let's be honest, that has a 0% chance of ever happening, but a, a man can dream.
no matter what version. I always prefer the Hidden Mountain Forest over the Dark World theme, whether that's a link to the past, a link between worlds, and yes, Smash Brothers Brawl 2. I love how this song, first off, is obviously a great remix of an already amazing song. I also love how it sounds adventurous and mysterious at the same time. It also really fits every Zelda stage in Ultimate. I also remember this song in the forest stage in South Space of Link and Yoshi, the green duo. This song is perfection. Or, at least it would be, if it wasn't for number one. Firefield! I repeat, Firefield! You know, the original Firefield is a great song, but this remix, this remix is powerful. It fills me with raw energy, power, motivation, and gets me hyped when I hear this song. I think, oh yes, stuff is about to go down. I listen to this song so many times while working out, while driving, and of course while playing on Poor Town and Brawl on Wii U and all of the F-Zero stages in Ultimate. It is a true crime that Mute City Melee can never experience this magnificent song. This song is just pure hype. I can always imagine me and my friends doing manly stuff while the song is playing. I found the song Perfection Incarnate. Like I said, all entries are my opinion and my opinion only. Thanks so much for watching. I have other videos I do too, like more countdowns, vlogs, workout videos, more video game stuff, and random memes. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching.